For me, sometimes you, when you don't feel like you belong, uh, I always think or look to others like me in similar situations, or sometimes you just feel completely alone, which is true. I would say to any young person, and I do say to young people now, is that there isn't anything that you cannot do if you put your mind to it. You know, I was lucky. I had a mother who encouraged me to go to college. In fact, it was an expectation. Um, she set the bar very high for me and encouraged me. And I had a father who at the same time wanted me to never forget where I came from. So it was the great balance of both. And I tell young people today that don't let others shut the door on you and don't shut the door on yourself. If you have a belief in yourself and you do work hard, you might not always get everything that you want, but you certainly shouldn't give up your dreams because you never know when you actually may attain them. And then once you have set that dream, set another one, set another goal for yourself. Because it does feel good. You know, I had set a goal not too long ago. I realized that I was turning 45. I mean, I've now turned 50, which is worse, but I was turning 45 and I thought, I wanna run a half marathon. I've never even run a 5K, and I'm kind of a chunky girl from the Midwest. And I thought, no, I'm gonna do that. And so I just set that as a goal, and I went to Mexico to run my very first race, and I ran the half marathon along with all these people from different walks of life. There were elderly people, there were young people, there were professionals who were running like gazelles, I'd like to point out. But I kept at it, and there was this older gentleman who was running up the hill with me, and he said, in Spanish, he said, like, a little at a time, a little at a time. And it was like, just again, what I needed, like, in that moment to say, okay, I'm gonna finish that race. And I finished the race, and I thought, okay, what chunky girl thought she could finish 13.6 miles? And I did it. And so it's a good example for me that I can never, I'm not gonna tell myself no, I'm just gonna set those little goals and um, who knows what can happen. Because if I can make it here to the Minnesota Supreme Court, and you have women like Justice Sotomayor who can make it to the United States Supreme Court, then we can't let anything get in our way. Even if you come from the poorest parts of Minnesota or other states, you know, set your goals high and dream just like everyone else because you too can reach them.